okay? I can't tell you how many times I've screwed up, okay? And it's only by airing it and so forth, and having somebody say, no, I don't think it's like that, Charles. You know, this is, this is uh, like this. And I say, oh yeah, you're right. God, that was stupid, <laughs> you know? But, but the, the fact is that I no longer beat my head when I'm, when I'm being stupid, okay? That's our natural state is stupidity, okay? We have to work hard not to be stupid, okay? Right? right? It's hard work not to be stupid, okay? Yeah, question. Yeah, but usually when my experience is, and this is, let me tell you from, um, I've been at MIT almost 38 years, okay? My experience is that when one person has a question, there's all these other people in the room have the same question. And it's by you articulating it, you're actually helping them out. If, if I think you're going too slow, okay, if things are going too slow, that we're wasting people's time, that's my job as the lecturer to make sure that doesn't happen. And I'll say, let's take this offline, we can talk after class, okay? But I appreciate your point of view that, you know, because that's, that's considerate, but actually it's more consideration, okay, if you're willing to air what you uh, think and have have uh, other people say, you know, I had that same question. Certainly there are going to be people in the class who say, roll their eyes or whatever, okay? But look, I don't teach to the top 10%. I try to teach to the top 90%, okay? And believe me, <laughs> believe me, you know, that, you know, I get, I get farther with students and have more people enjoying the course and learning this stuff, which is not necessarily easy stuff. After the fact, you're going to discover this is easy, okay? But while you're learning it, it's not easy. This is what, uh, what um, Steven Pinker calls the curse of knowledge, okay? Once you know something, you have a really high time putting yourself in the position of, not, of what it was like to not know it. Okay, and, and so it's very easy to learn something and then it's like when somebody doesn't understand, it's like, oh, you know, whatever, okay? But, but the fact of the matter is that most of us, you know, it's that empathy. That's what makes for you to be a good communicator, okay? And all of you I know are at some point going to have to do communication with other people who are not as technically sophisticated as you folks are. Okay, and so this is really good to sort of appreciate how important it is to, uh, you know, to, to recognize that this stuff isn't necessarily easy when you're learning it, okay? Later you can learn it and then it'll be easy. But that doesn't mean it's necessarily easy for somebody else. So those of you who, who think that some of these answers are like, come on, move along, move along, okay? Please be patient with your with the other people in the class. If they learn better, they're going to be better teammates on uh, projects and so forth, okay? And we'll all learn. Nobody's in competition with anybody here for grades or anything, okay? Nobody's in competition. We all set it up so we're going against benchmarks and so forth. You're not in competition. So we want to make this something where everybody helps everybody to learn. I probably spent too much time on that, but in some sense, not nearly enough. <laughs>